everyone. We are going to get started on our variables notes. So go ahead and update your table of contents. We have notes for variables, page seven, and the variables output on page eight. If you need to pause this video to finish writing it down, please do so. Otherwise, we're going to flip over to page seven, and we're going to give this a title variables. Um, it's actually really important in order to complete the scientific method that you understand variables. Otherwise, it can be um, really tricky to design ta ta data tables and graphs according to your variables or make conclusions or proper hypothesis using the correct form. So let's make sure we understand this. There's two main types. There's the independent variable which can sometimes be called the manipulated variable, and there's the dependent variable. So there's no standard format for these notes. I'm just gonna sort of talk you through them. I've already written them out. I'm going to reveal the information as we go. The first one we're going to define is independent variable. Now the independent variable, sometimes called the IV, is the variable that I'm going to change in the experiment. It's the, the variable I can control or manipulate. I circled the letter I twice, as sort of a mnemonic, a memory device for how to remember independent I, I change it. I'm changing the, the variable here. So in our example with the Mario and the magic seeds, um, Mar Mario gave us these magic seeds and we decided to make our variable energy drink or I decided to make an energy drink. That was what I changed. Uh, what we measured that's actually the dependent variable. So I was measuring growth with that particular piece of, um, with that particular experiment. And the dependent variable, also known as the DV, is the variable that is measured. It is what gives us our data. And so this is how why I circled the D here and the D here. It's because that's how I'm remembering D for data. Take as much time as you need to finish copying that. If you need to pause the video before moving on, that is fine. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a graph. So the standard structure of a graph is pretty much a, there's an X and Y axis. So you've probably heard that in your math class. Um, I'm going to show you a mnemonic on how to remember which variable goes on which axis. So you'll see here I've got my X and my Y. I usually remember Y goes in the sky. So if I were drawing a picture, Y is up. X marks the spot, X and Y axis. The X axis is going to be your independent variable. So if I were graphing my data about the plant growth from energy drink, the information about my energy drinks would be down here, probably amount of energy drink. Obviously the control would be on here too. And then the growth measurements would go up the side. That's the dependent variable. That's what we measure. So you'll see I can turn this into a capital I and I can turn this into a capital D. And that's how I remember the independent variable goes here and the dependent variable goes here. I can also remember this. If I think about that the independent variable influences change and the dependent variable. So the amounts of energy drink influence, influences change in the plant growth. It might be bad change, it might not, it might actually make it worse, but it's still change. Um, so this variable influences this variable. That's how you can remember it as well. I call this kind of like a little machine. I'm gonna put my information into this machine and see what pops out the other side, as opposed to you wouldn't say that plant growth influences change in the energy drink. That doesn't really make sense. So I've got some examples here that I want you to kind of list out to give yourself a few to think about. So we got to check that they go into our machine. So I've got my independent variable. I'm making a little t-shirt t-chart here. Independent IV and DV, independent and dependent variable. So the first one, amount of hours. So independent variable influences change and amount of money. In other words, how much time I work influences change and how much money I make on my paycheck. 
doesn't really work with a salary, but if you were working at um, like a restaurant or something, that would probably be the case. If you were working for many companies, they do hourly wages. The next one is data used and phone bill. So does the amount of data I use on my phone influences change on how much my phone bill cost? And the answer is definitely yes. Your parents probably know. Unless you have unlimited data, in which case good for you. I don't. The last one I have is, does the time I spend exercising independent variable influence change in my dependent variable, my overall fitness? I would like to think so. But it's definitely not, does my overall fitness influence change in time I exercise? No, that doesn't make sense. So that's just sort of a how you can remember it. I know this was um, kind of generic and not a lot of information, but I actually think that's a good thing. So we will talk about the output a little bit later, but why don't we go ahead and put our title here. So this is going to be variables output. And this is not going to be free choice, but stay tuned for more information about what is going to go there.